Hello, it's Claudio, and in this video we will look at common errors you can encounter with tuples in Python. We will start by defining a tuple called cities. If you had a list, you would be able to update any elements in the list. But here is what happens if we try to update one element of our tuple. We get back a type error, tuple object does not support item assignment. And the reason behind this error is that tuples are immutable. There is a workaround to this. We could convert the tuple into a list, update any elements in the list, and then convert the final list back to a tuple. To convert the tuple into a list, we will use the list function. Now, let's update the element at index 1 in the same way we have tried to do before with the tuple. The second element of the list has been updated, so now we can convert the list back to a tuple. And to do that, we can use the tuple function. There is an alternative option that we can use to get around the fact that we cannot update a tuple directly. We can use the slicing operator. Let's see how we can use slicing to create a tuple from our original tuple where only one element is updated. We will start from the following tuple called cities and our goal is to update the element at index 2 with the string rom. Slicing can be used to concatenate the first two elements of the original tuple to the new value, rom, and then to the last two elements of the original tuple. Before doing that, let's have a look at the generic syntax of the slicing operator. This takes a slice of the tuple that includes the element at index n and excludes the element at index m. Let's start by creating a slice that contains the first two elements of our tuple. We can also omit the first zero, considering that the slice starts from the beginning of the tuple. And now it's time to take the last two elements. Notice that to take the last two elements we have omitted the index m, considering that the slice includes up to the last element of the tuple. And finally we can create the new tuple starting from the original one using the following code. As you can see, we are concatenating the first slice that includes the first two elements, a tuple with one element that includes the string rom, and a slice of the original tuple that only includes the last two elements. Now, let's see what happens when one of the elements of a tuple is a list. If we try to update the second element of the tuple, we get the same error we have seen before. Tuple object does not support item assignment. If we try to assign a new list to the third element, we get the same error. But if we append another number to the list inside the tuple, here is what happens. The Python interpreter doesn't raise any exceptions because the list is a mutable data type. So remember this when you work with data types in Python. Tuples are immutable and lists are mutable. Let's move to something different. I want to see if we encounter the same error we have seen before when assigning a value to a tuple, but this time when we work with a list of tuples. Let's say we have a list of tuples that is used in a game to store the name and the score for each user. And now let's assume that the user John has gained additional points and I want to update the points associated to his user. When I try to update his points, we get back the same error we have seen before when updating the tuple. So how can we get around this error? Tuples are immutable but lists are not immutable and we could use this concept to assign a new score to a new tuple in the list at the same position of the original tuple in the list. Let's see if it works. 
it does work, once again because lists are mutable. And let's see how we can make this code a bit more generic. Yes, this is a bit more generic because we didn't have to provide the name of the user when updating his records. And by the way, this is just an example to show you how to address the type error we have seen in this video in different circumstances. But in reality, in this scenario, I would prefer to use a dictionary instead. Because the dictionary would allow us to access the details of each user from the name and to update the score without any issues. The error that we've seen so far when assigning a value to a tuple can also occur when a function returns multiple values and you try to directly modify the values returned by the function. I will explain you what I mean. I create a function that returns two values, the number of users registered in our application and the number of users that have accessed our application in the last 30 days. As you can see, the two values are returned by the function as a tuple. So let's assume that there is a new registered user. When I try to increase by one, the first element of the stats variable, I get the following error. That is the same error we have seen before when assigning a specific value to an item in a tuple. This error can happen especially if I know that two values are returned by a function, but I'm not aware that they are returned in a tuple. I might assume, for example, that they are returned in a list. Okay, you might be thinking, what is the point of using tuples if we get this error every time we try to update them? Wouldn't it be a lot easier to just use lists? We can see the fact that tuples are immutable also as an added value because there might be some data in our application that should never be modified. Let's say, for example, that our application integrates with an external system and needs some configuration properties to connect to it. For example, let's say the configuration properties are stored in a tuple where the first element is the API endpoint our system connects to and the second element is the port of the remote system. We want to make sure this configuration is not modified by mistake in our application because it will break the integration with the external system. So if our code inadvertently updates one of the values, the following happens. So once again, the error we've seen before, but this time this error has saved us from breaking our application. So remember, it's not always good to have data structure you can update in your code whenever you want. This is it for this video. Give it a like if you found this useful and subscribe to Codefather to keep building your knowledge as a Python developer.